Once upon a time, there was a princess named Wendy. She was obsessed with her golden ball. Until one day. No! <laughs> when she thought all hope was lost, Peter Frog shows up with an ultimatum. Never pond, and then we can get it. Never pond? Never pond! Never pond? But that's scary! That's for grown ups! No, it's not. Come on, Princess Wendy, let's go. Never Pond, a mystical place, a place unlike Wendy's world, a place where frogs talk and nature sings. Welcome to Never Pond, Princess Wendy. When are you gonna get my ball back? Your ball? You're not getting your ball back until you do three things. You need to clean, cook, and read to the lost ones in order for me to get your ball back. Why can't you just go get it now? Nope. I love Come it. on, Princess no, Wendy. Let's go. I want to go home. She cleans. This place is so messy. All you ever do is sit there. All I ever do is clean, clean, clean. Back home, I didn't have to do any of this. I never had to clean in my life. She cooks. Dinner's ready! Last one, Peter Frog! And she must read to the there Lost Boys. There was a princess named Grace. Grace hated her name because it made her sound graceful and elegant, exactly as a princess is supposed to be. But Grace was not graceful or elegant. Grace was tall and spindly with very big feet. She had long legs that strands like spaghetti, which just like spaghetti, but most of the time tangled up. Grace was always falling over and knocking things down. Slowly, Wendy was starting to form a friendship with Peter Frog. But she always had her golden ball in the back of her mind. Could Wendy ever forget her golden ball and accept her slimy companion? An everlasting friendship was formed when Wendy outgrew her dislike of the ugly and accepted Peter Frog for who he was, her best friend. <gasps> My ball's back! Thank you! Anything for you, Princess Wendy. Join us on our journey to find Never Pond.